Good morning, people. Watch Women 65. Lisa Boyce here. A lot of you may be asking how you should be feeling right now. Should you be taking this in stride and feeling empathy for the people? Should you be feeling uh, bad for black people or something like that? Should you, as a Christian, uh, a lot of them just, just confusion. How should you be reacting to all this that's going on? And I got an answer for you. Look up and pray. That's all you can do. You don't have to go around hugging, wanting to hug black people. Because the average black person, and I'm not knocking oppression, but they really... They're young, and they have no clue what oppression is. I'm just saying. We look up because we know what the Bible says. The Bible says that times like this is going to happen. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. So is the rapture. The rapture is going to happen as well. We look up because our, our person to look up to is the Redeemer, Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach. He's the one that we look to, the author and finisher of our faith, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. That's who we look up to. Now, what's going on in Seattle right now is more than what I can imagine, more than what I can say. They have a six-wide city block that's being held hostage. You got mayors over there that uh, the mayor and the governor don't want to do anything about it. They say, oh, they're peaceful. Why are they carrying ARs? <laughs> and why are they making the people who own businesses over there pay them? That's extortion. You can't go around and put your head in the sand and pretend like nothing's happening because it is happening. If you can't see that what's going on is a setup for the Antichrist, see, they want to take the government out. They want to take um, any kind of uh, authority out and bring in one person to look up to. That's what's happening right now. That's just a prelude. That's why I keep saying every day we are seeing a prelude to the tribulation. That's what we're seeing. We know what's going to happen in the end because we've read the end of the book. Guess who else has read the end? Satan. So he's going to wreak havoc wherever he goes. Especially now because he knows his end is coming. Now, I got this article off of uh, David Hodges, The Common Sense Show. Downtown Seattle is ran by an actual warlord. They have no idea who they got running this uh, autonomous six-block radius right now. He's accused of beating women and forcing them into sex acts. Clueless Democrats celebrate warlord rule as the new utopia. Matter of fact, the mayor said yesterday to Trump, mind your own business. This might be the new summer of love. You know why she said that? Because she's scared. But guess what? These same people, this same black Nazi group that's taken over, they want her out of there. They want her fired. So go figure. It says here, after left-wing terrorists seized six city blocks of downtown Seattle, declaring it an, un an autonomous zone that defies all the laws of Washington State and the United States of America, the power of vacuum didn't last very long. Now, an actual warlord 
has risen to power there. Since Democrats hate police, remember? And according to online comments, he's a man who beats women and forces them into sex acts and punishes them, punishes them if they do not obey. That's who they wanted. See, he's a um, big league politics report. A Seattle rap artist appears to be establishing his authority as a de facto warlord of a self-styled leftist state in cities downtown. Reports from the scene of the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone indicate that Raz Simone, a Seattle rapper, has increasingly staked himself out as something of an authority figure within the jurisdiction. Witnesses describe Simone as asserting his authority over graffiti artists that attempted to paint over existing graffiti, threatening to shoot the streets artists if they failed to obey his commands regarding new graffiti. But yet the mayor over there told Trump to mind his own business and stay out of it. I let you wrap your mind around this, what's going on. And the people are going for it. This is beyond disgusting and sick. But, welcome to the New World Order, or a precursor to the New World Order. I'll say it this time, I said it yesterday, said it in the day before. If you're not saved and sealed, you will go through a worse fate than what's going on right now. You will wish that you were back where we are right now. Because the Antichrist will make your life a living hell. I'm just saying. So you might want to get saved right now and avoid what's coming because what you're seeing right now is a prelude to what's coming. It's going to be a million times worse. This is a new rule of the of law in Democrat controlled cities. And Governor Inslee has today declared that he has no knowledge that six city blocks in downtown Seattle were seized. Really? Democrats are suddenly learning what happens when you don't say no to black lies matter. Protesters who seize buildings or city blocks and issue a list of demands. As long as you allow the terrorists to control everything, they will keep asking for more. Imagine the surprise when they escalate to seizing the state capitol building and come to find out the Democrats have already looted everything. There's nothing left to loot. He goes on to say, hey white lived hearts living in Seattle, bow down to your new leader. That's in the article here. When you demanded abolishing the police, this is what you get instead. And I'm going to link the article in the description box. The reason why I don't feel, I feel bad for the people that's going to be left here. I do have an amount of sympathy for the people that's going to be left behind here. But you got to keep in mind, a lot of these people voted these people in office. These are leaders that are supposed to take care of your city block. They've abolished, they've taken out the police. And this is what happens. Anarchy rises. Lawlessness is already on the, it's already loose right now. You had better look to the Lord and not to man. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, period.
You come to him no other way but by believing. It's a simple gospel message. All you have to do is believe it and take it and believe it. And you will escape with the rest of us out of this hell hole. I'm just saying. I'll be back later with more stuff. Thank you.